Welcome, uh, President Varela, to Israel. Thank you. This is a, a wonderful opportunity to further our friendship. We had an interesting discussion before in uh, New York. We said we'd be in this day. I had been to Panama. I hope to come again. And uh, I think this opportunity for you to see uh, what we could do together here in Israel is, uh, is very, very important for both our countries. Uh, we're going to uh, <coughs> sign several agreements here to advance that. But I have to say that we remember Panama's friendship from pre-independence days, when you helped uh, take our people from Cyprus a long way. They had to go there in order to come back here. But we have uh, uh, built uh, a vibrant partnership, and we are now cooperating in energy and water and uh, uh, cyber, uh, in agriculture, and many, many other areas. Uh, I think the potential is enormous because the future belongs to those who innovate. Israel is the, I would say, is the innovation nation. Panama has tremendous advantages, which uh, uh, involve world trade and your wise management of those uh, opportunities. And together, I think we can do much, much more. We also have a vested interest in uh, assuring security, uh, which is the foundation of peace. This is a big issue, obviously, in this area, but I think it's uh, an issue in every area, including in your part of the world. We are ready to cooperate on this as well. Uh, and in any other area that is uh, of common interest, we are your friends. And we welcome you as friends here in Jerusalem. Welcome, friend. Thank you, Prime Minister. Uh, I would like to thank Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu for receiving me and my delegation uh, in this official visit to Israel in a very special moment for this country where we are celebrating Israel's 70th anniversary of independence. And also, we are celebrating 70 years of diplomatic relations between our two countries. I would like to thank the State of Israel for all the support that has given to Panama, that has been given to Panama throughout these 70 years, supporting exchange of good practices in technology, agriculture, and water management, also in training for, of our students, and closely cooperating in the field of security and different areas of collaboration that have been the pillars of our bilateral ties. Our relationship is not only between our states, of our governments, but also between our people, because of the historic, as you mentioned, role of the Jewish people has played in the development of our country. During this visit, I'm accompanied by some members of the Jewish community in Panama that arrived in our country a long time ago and have worked very hard to contribute in building the Panama that we have today. I'm very impressed, Prime Minister, by, by what I have seen so far in Israel. But what impresses me the most is the commitment of its people to build and protect this beautiful country. Yesterday, I went to the Mount Herschel, and in that place, I felt the energy and all the hard work and sacrifices that have been made to build this country. I paid tribute to all the men and women that have protected and worked hard for the State of Israel, starting from Theodore Herschel, who had the vision of the State of Israel long before it was established, and also all the prime ministers, presidents, and soldiers, and leaders that are buried in that place, very special place. Today, we, have, we are going to sign the free trade agreement and I believe that thanks to this document, we now can reach our full potential and capacity of cooperation in the commercial field. Just three days away from celebrating Shavuot, and thanks to Machaf, we are going to sign today also an agricultural agreement for the establishment of a center of ex excellency in agriculture, positive for our country, since it will allow us, with the help of Israel, to have better quality and higher quantity of Panamanian products. I had the opportunity to visit the Benjamin Youth Village yesterday, impressive. And I go to a school where I saw the expertise, skills, and especially the commitment of the teachers to young people that are not only going to be professionals in agriculture, but also will enroll the Israeli Defense Forces to protect their country. I've been able to see, this is very special for me, the faces of John Israeli Defense Forces. Mm -hmm. And in their eyes, I can see their commitment the prosperous future of this nation. They are fighting for a cause, not for interest, the cause of protecting the state of Israel and to protect the Jewish people. And I admire them and I reaffirm that I support that cause. I will also went to the Jad this morning, Russian Museum, where we remember the horrible act of fate of the Holocaust and all the life 
that were lost. And I would like to express my commitment to the Jewish people and to the state of Israel that I will make sure that this horrible event never happens again. Light will always overcome darkness, and we have be, to be always on the side of the light. Prime Minister, on November 20, I received a letter from you confirming that I lost my roommate, a distinguished member of the Panamanian Jewish community, to a terrorist attack conducted by Hezbollah in Panama some years ago. Thank you for that information, which I share with the family, and I will keep following that case to make sure that justice is done. My acting in public life will always be on the right side to make sure that nothing like this happen again in my country or anywhere else in the world. The fight against terrorism shouldn't have boundaries, ideologies, or faith. The fight against terrorism should unite all human beings to stop the evil that terrorists represent and to fight for the right of all human beings to live in this war in peace. I'm returning full of energy to my country after what we have seen, felt, and experienced in these two days in Israel. There are multiple opportunities of collaboration between our countries in agriculture, water, commerce, technology, security, and innovation. I would like to thank you again, Prime Minister, for this opportunity to be here. You can count that in Panama, you don't have just an ally, you just have a friend. Thank you. Thank you. I, I would like to add two points after these moving words um, about the good and the bad. I'll start with the bad. The bad is that the preeminent terrorist state of our time is Iran. Iran was responsible for the horrible uh, terrorist attacks in Argentina. And uh, I think beyond that, in uh, some of the things that you were referring to, I have no doubt that they had a hand. Uh, so we have a common battle to fight terrorism and to fight the sponsors and dispatchers of terrorists. Uh, and we are doing it in the Middle East, but I think, as I said, it encompasses today the entire world, the entire world. And we stand ready to cooperate. Israel's security services and our remarkable intelligence services have prevented terrorist attacks in over 30 countries, major terrorist attacks, the downing of aircraft we have prevented recently. And since we spoke about yes, York. this tragedy is the downing of aircraft, but today we have prevented such catastrophes by sharing our intelligence uh, with uh, other countries as we uh, share with our friends in Panama as well. The second thing is uh, the good. I have a personal debt to Panama because when I came uh, here after I finished my service, uh, my studies uh, in, um, uh, uh, in the United States, I looked for a job in Jerusalem. And at the time, Jerusalem didn't have uh, what it has today. Jerusalem is rated today as the fifth fa fastest growing high-tech city. Uh, we we have, saw it this morning. It's, bi it's very big. It's becoming. But when I came here, this was many years ago, there was nothing here except what looked to me was one attractive firm. It was called Rim Industries. It was established by Aaron Eisen, uh, a Jew from Panama, who was persuaded to come here and begin, uh, begin this uh, uh, business, which he began. And he gave me a job. So I owe you. My first job in Israel. <laughs> I owe Panama my first job. Thank you, Panama. <laughs> well, thank you, Panama, for Look, many, many things. Looking forward to you for you, to your visit for, to our country. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please. Between Israel and Panama, I would like to call both ministers of industry from Israel and Panama to sign the agreement. Minister of Thank you very much. Congratulations.